Practice 8G. For this video, we're going to go over pages 12 through 13 in the Unit 8 Polynomials Packet. Uh, on numbers 1 through 2, for each function, fill in the table and sketch the graph. Identify the number of real zeros. Identify the number of imaginary zeros. Identify the maximum. Identify the minimum. State increase the intervals. State decreasing intervals. Let's look at number one. We have f of x equals negative x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5. This is an odd degree polynomial, so your uh, domain and range will both be all real numbers. Um, the total complex numbers we have is 3. Now let's go ahead and graph this on Desmos and see what we get. When we graph this function, it looks like we have three distinct real roots. Two of them appear to be irrational and one is rational. So on your page, uh, sketch a picture of this graph. And then we could fill in this table. So if we plug in negative 1, we get 0. If we plug in 0, we get negative 5. And then let's plug in the rest of these. Uh, when we plug in these other values, when uh, x is 1, y would be negative 2. And then we get 3, 4, negative 5, and negative 30. So you just plot all the points that are visible on your graph right here. Your maximum um, will approximate it 2.667, 4 4.481. Your minimum is this point, 0, negative 5. So it's going to be increasing right here. So the two x values that we have here where it changes directions is x equals 0 and x equals 2.6 repeated. So it's going to be increasing in this middle section from 0 to 2.6 repeated. And they'll be decreasing on the rest of it. So from negative infinity to 0, and then also decreases from 2.6 repeated to positive infinity. The u just means that we have multiple intervals. Try number two. And remember, if you need help, make sure to ask me. Let's look at the next page. Increasing and decreasing intervals. So let's say that increasing, let's make it uh, red. And then for decreasing, let's make that blue. So let's highlight all the increasing intervals on this whole entire page. So it looks like it's increasing here. It's increasing right here. It's increasing on this one right here. Um, and it looks like it's increasing on this one. Now pause the video and highlight the rest of the increasing intervals on this page. All right, let's highlight the decreasing intervals on this page, a different color. So here's one that's decreasing. These are decreasing. 
and this one's decreasing. Okay, go ahead, pause the video, and highlight the other intervals that are decreasing on this page. All right, let's look at this one. So first we will uh, draw a line where the vertice is. So we have x equals 0 right here. So, so this will be increasing from 0 to infinity. That's where it has a positive slope. And then it's decreasing from negative infinity to 0. So the x value on the left side is always negative infinity. The right side is positive infinity. And then for the next one, x is also equal to 0 at that axis of symmetry where the vertex is. But it's increasing and decreasing in opposite intervals. Let's look at this one. So let's find the x lines where it changes directions. This one is 1, 2, 3, x equals 3, and then 4, 5, x equals 5. So this is where it's going to be. So it's increasing in this interval from 3 to 5. 3, comma 5. And this decreasing everywhere else. So this side would be from negative infinity to 3. And then the other interval, this one, is from 5 to positive infinity. And let's look at one more. So on this one, x equals 2. And the increase the interval is from negative infinity to that number, 2. And then the decrease the interval would be from 2 to positive infinity. Okay, try the rest of this page on your own, and then move on to the last section in this packet.